All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Bojack, Bojack Horseman, Horseman Season 3, three Episode 1. one. Holy uh -huh. shit, Season 3, let's go! Yeah, yeah. After that previous episode, I am just a bit excited for this. Yeah. Just, just a little. Just yeah. a little. They, they did so much good for yes. the show yes. in the final episode of Season 2. Oh my to god. To give us incredible. not just hope for everybody, but a direction for pretty much everybody yes and that yes was, that was really impactful we got progress on i believe all the characters arcs all the core characters yeah all the core characters mm -hmm. and then also just got that that nice warm comforting comforting head pat after the episode before <laughs> you know which i i needed yeah i needed yeah mm -hmm. bojack's in a it feels like a broken record now Bro bojack ended this season in a very very low place and um yeah he's only got a few people left but he does have those people but he does the have fact those that people. he actually was like hey todd you're my best friend mm -hmm. that that whole thing mm -hmm. and then the bit with the running guy at the end it's like hey it gets easier it's like yeah. all right okay yeah well let's go pick up with everybody mm -hmm. in uh, this uh, first episode of season three yes. so y'all without further ado Let's get into this. You've been trying to get this movie made for 20 years. Did uh -huh. you ever think you'd be sitting here talking about Secretariat? Sitting here, in this <sighs> hotel room. <clears throat> it's a dream come true. How long are you in New York for? Just a couple days of fun, fun interviews. Then it's off to Chicago for more fun, fun interviews. And then if I don't blow my brains out, <laughs> I get to go back to LA. Darling, you're doing marvelously. I am so proud of you. If I could make one slight adjustment. <clears throat> Maybe fewer jokes about how these interviews make you want to blow your brains out. You want to just write a script for me? That way I don't have to think for myself at all? Honey, I would shove my hand up your ass and control your mouth like a Muppet if I thought it would win you an Oscar. But what do I know? I'm just the publicist you hired to help win you an Oscar. We need to use these next few months to define your story. When people see you, they need to think, Oscar winner! Not dumb asshole from an old TV show that nobody cares about. Oh! Sure. Horsing Around was a good show, right? Bojack, you know, I think the world of you. I think you are so smart and attractive. So I'm not going to no. mince words. Horsing Around was a piece of shit. <laughs> Diane, are you stalling for Princess Carolyn? What? You know who was good at stalling was Joseph Stalin. <laughs> what do you think? If anything, Stalin was ruthlessly efficient. Get your head out of your ass, Diane. <laughs> Hey, buddy. How was your first big day at the press junket? Oh, it was endless. It's like the <sighs> second act of a Judd Apatow movie. He was exquisite. The movie's tracking really well on social. New media impressions are up 23% across platforms. Huh? What does that mean? Oh, I have no idea. I assumed you would know. <laughs> Bojack is not ready for a magazine feature. Relax. It's not that big a deal. I didn't realize you were an authority on deal size. Listen, oh. Osaka. Ladies, ladies, please. There's plenty of Bojack to go around. Now, pajamas. What? Ah! The time. What is going on over there? Oh, He's my God. Into his room. No big deal. Movie stars do it all the time. <laughs> Where oh am my I? God. Bagels? Pizza? Hipsters? Urine? Am I in Minneapolis? Uh, yeah, that'll do it. Jesus. If my name's Sarah Koenig, no! <laughs> cereal. Arf. Uh, I am the queen. Follow me, citizens. Uh, yeah, yeah, and then boom. All right. <laughs> huh, small bottle of shampoo. Ah, oh, amazing. Hello? It's your agent. I just wanted to remind you of your meeting with Pinky today. I think I'm already in it. <clears throat> do I need to be on this call still? Sorry, I put you on conference. How do I... Bojack Horseman, is that you? No. Peanut butter. I'm here too, honey. Have a great meeting. Diane? Wait, you, you went to New York? Oh, no, I'm just... On Why wouldn't you tell me? How long are you... I'm not accusing. Uh... I just, I feel I, safer. I... I affirm your feelings. Oh my god! Holy shit. Oh my They're god. They're using the I feel statements yeah, yeah. The in, the, in the intentional affirming. Wow. Bojack and Todd in the Big Apple. I want God, to that was so good. That was amazing, that but painful. That can make me big. Uh. Hey, champ. I have a very important job for you. Why don't you go get us some ice? 
You don't need to patronize me, but yeah, I can do that important job. The city's on a grid. Why would I get... <sighs> Yeah. Oh no. Hello. What hotel number are they? Yep. And he uh -huh. doesn't know. What happened to Wanda? You didn't hear? She got poached. Oh God. By another company. Oh, oh good. Oh. They shot her. Oh God. Straight to the top of the corporate ladder. Yeah. Oh good. Yep. She had to move to Detroit. Oh God. <laughs> what I hear is due for a resurgence. <laughs> I love that Detroit was the worst of it. I'm taking the show off the air. Wait, what? Why? I told the story I wanted to tell to prolong it for commercial With reasons reality would TV. be crass and inorganic. Uh, At wow. long last, the public knows what Hollywood stars- Like horsing around. No. Uh, Did they know things? Uh, um, well, we found out. This is a nightmare. <laughs> Why does everything I love fall apart as soon as I touch it? Damage done. I don't want to- I do not miss the spotlight, Oh, okay, Claire, that's not too bad. But I do. A little. Miss Sunshine. You look different. Older. A lot older. I'm not saying you look bad, just much, much, much older. Thank you, Jill. You haven't heard from Cuddly Whiskers recently, have you? Cuddly Whiskers? What? I haven't talked to that guy since the show was canceled. I worry about him. Oh. About six months back, he disappeared. <laughs> Theater is by its very nature ephemeral. We shout into the void, hey, you! And I the void says, stop shouting at me, please! And we grab yeah, the void from the spit in its face. On the side I will not. Hilarious. Void in New York do a number on you. Bojack. Jill, I'm not the guy who does things that are challenging or edgy or covered in milk. I'm about to be nominated for an Oscar. I'm thinking about my legacy now. Yeah. I want to do things that connect with people. But see, years after I die, people will still be able to see me in Secretariat. And then what? And then I'll be remembered. You told me I would be getting more attention at a smaller agency, but if anything, I'm getting less. Is this the best time to be on your phone? I'm sorry, let me just send this one email. What? Why isn't it sending? Judah! I'm taking my business to Gecko Rabinowitz. JG Challenger is too big a star to be hamstrung by some rinky-dink operation oh. working out of a two-story warehouse. I need an agency with at least nine stories. Uh. That was a reference to my work, uh. with which you are clearly not familiar. Uh. Goodbye. <laughs> Instead of spreading ourselves uh. thinner, we should be focusing on getting better gigs for the clients we already have. Uh. Okay. Oh, like Jerry Maguire. Yes. What? What part of Jerry Maguire? <laughs> the part where Tom Cruise's agent got him a massive payday for being in Jerry Maguire. Princess Carolyn. <laughs> yeah. Listen, kid. Tough break about the Hollywood stars and celebrities, whatever, whatever, whatever. But what are we gonna do next? Well, I was actually looking forward to taking some time off. What? That is oh. the worst idea I've ever heard. You're the biggest name in TV right now, and every <laughs> network would <was laughs> hear your next. Yeah. Approval. Yeah. Oh, everyone's a marionette. So nice oh. having you home. These last oh, few oh, months shit. have been oh, amazing. No. My blood pressure's down, my stress is down. Oh, what the There's my favorite accountant. Great news. PB Living is back. No. In. No. Business. No. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Pain. <laughs> so, what's next for Bojack? Oh, what do you mean? The magazine. What's next? Why does everything have to happen next? If you want the real Bojack, there's already been a whole book written about that. Yeah, but that was Bojack before the book came out. Who's Bojack now? Who's Bojack now? Bojack is just hes a guy who could use a drink. That's who. Should we order some alcohol? Why did you say that thing about the boat? I don't know. I was being sexy. You okay? Just forget it. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. No. He just walked in at the worst possible. A journalist, no. no, fuck. It wasn't my fault, I mean, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, my God. I keep asking myself, if her mother didn't walk in, would I have done it? That part of me is sure that I, I, I couldn't. But another part knows that's a lie. How do you make something right when you've made it so wrong you can never go back? Well, hey, look. You're the star of a movie now. You're probably gonna win an Oscar. I'm not even in it. That's not me. What do you mean that's not you? Oh, I was shit. digitally replaced. Special effects. None of it's me. <sighs> <sighs> oh, shit. Bojack, it's 
4 a.m. No, it's not. It's 7. I'm in New York. I'm calling from the future. <laughs> but say, hypothetically, you had some information about me and you were going to write about it. And I wanted to stop you before you could get it published. What would be a smart thing that I could do in that situation that would make you change your mind? No, Diane, not everything is about you. For once, I have a problem and I need your help. Okay, okay. Walk me through it again? I don't have time for this. It's already three hours later here. Thanks a lot, Diane. <laughs> once again, you've been no help whatsoever. Spoiler from oh the my future. God. You suck. Sorry you don't suck. I'm just very stressed out right now. Bye. <sighs> I'm aware of the situation and uh, I'm handling it. But I haven't even. No way. I'm handling it. No way. I'll see you at the screening tonight. But don't be late. No way. She's having sex with the <laughs> <laughs> with the reporter, and then she strangles her, kills her. Did you get the ice? Oh, I'll be right back. Oh, oh, we're never seeing him again. I'm lost again. Yeah, yeah. God, this episode is still going. There's yeah. so much. Right. Well, if he was here, he'd probably say something like, Hey, you know what's cool? Spaghetti strainers. Go on. And you'd say, Hmm, I feel like I've seen that somewhere before. And then he'd say, Well, what if I told you that this spaghetti strainer is also a hat? A spaghetti strainer that's also Wow, he's literally a wearing a bucket hat? on his head right now. That is a brilliant idea. Yeah. No, it's not! Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, shit. I took care of our problem. What did you do? You don't need to know anything else. It's been taken care of. Holy shit. There, there was a moment back at the hotel where I really thought I blew it, and I was scared that it was all over. And and then after, I, w I was relieved. I, oh, yeah. I don't know yeah. if I should win an Oscar. I don't know if I want to. Stop punishing yourself. I'm not in the movie. I was in New Mexico. None of that matters. What is my story? I'll tell you. This has been your dream <laughs> no one for the last to tell you. 30 yes. years. Yeah. You made it happen. An Oscar won't make you happy forever. It won't solve all your problems. True. You win that Oscar. The next day, you go back to being you. But that night is a really good night. There you, you go. Sure. Yes, I do. Go introduce your movie. Tell your story. Tomorrow we fly to Chicago. It's being good. secretary yeah. isn't just about running fast. Yeah. Secretary, the scene that made her wet. <laughs> it's about doing the right thing and standing up for yourself. Why I look around and I see a whole room full of secretariats. Bojack, it's such a beautiful movie and I think such a texture performance. When you were on Wasn't Around, <laughs> could you ever imagine that you'd give a performance like this? Well, yes, actually I imagined it a lot. I always knew that I was more than just a dumb TV actor. Even if other people didn't always know that. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, that TV show, it wasn't me. Oh. This movie mm -hmm. is me. And I can't tell you how great it feels to finally be doing the kind of work that I can be proud of. Whoa. Shit. Wow. He, he fell completely into it. Nice. Yeah. Oh, my God. Holy Season shit. three, BoJack coming out real strong. Yeah, coming out swinging. Coming out the gate. Full like, tilt, full gallop. Um, we went and combined everyone here for mm -hmm. a really powerful powerful starter episode about yes. the feeling of a purposeless life where you're just on someone else's strings dancing to a tune that's sure. not you and you have nothing you have nothing that yeah. makes you you and the, he is struggling uh, to just attach himself to anything that can mm -hmm. be him the mm -hmm. problem is everything that he looks about is him is just shit shit so, or fake shit or fake well that's not even him then so yeah the, uh, yeah exactly so yeah but, like the 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 stuff that they did with Bojack this episode was fantastic, mm -hmm. right? This is everything that I could have wanted from a Bojack focused Bojack episode. Yeah, especially after season two's ending. Yes, and giving us a still a continuation where he's right, still right. The... feeling like he's on top because he's been able to move mm -hmm. past the immediate shame of what happened. Yep, and is uh, able to drown himself in the interviews and the alcohol. Yeah, classic and, Bojack. And know? he, you know, he still has the old habits of like, you know being verbally abusive with Todd, but then he's like, wait, no, sorry, Todd, you're, you're my friend. Mm -hmm, sorry mm -hmm. about that. He even does you that know? with Diane. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But th then then we get all the stuff separate from Bojack. Yep. We get the conference call. Holy shit. That mm -hmm. was something I never knew I needed to happen. We yep. get the, uh, probably my favorite joke in the entire episode is the <laughs> Diane and Mr. Peanut Butter 
going into the clearly they've talked about this the of, therapy of, yes. of exactly how to handle conflict oh in a God. way that is as good as possible, and everybody else is privy to it. With They're just, just like. like like, like the reaction I, I faces feel, that they had. You know, yeah, yeah. This, I you affirm know, your feelings. I affirm your feelings. Like, <laughs> like one of the things oh I love so much God. about this is that they used the actual legit things there. Yeah. I cannot tell you how many people who I know haven't been to therapy. Because <laughs> they don't know how to do that. Because No, because I'll tell them. Mm. about using I feel statements and they go holy shit that's oh. <laughs> so amazing I had no idea and I'm like yeah yeah that's okay it's just uh -huh. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a period of my life I had multiple periods of my life where I was therapy 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 it's really good which is but, also um, just a yeah. great joke in and of itself in that <laughs> they're figuring out in a very yes. healthy way how to deal with shit together uh huh they're the Jack only is... group that's yes. actually doing that right now right. in the show right which is amazing. So, so it's just this this great little oh. bit of context for all the dysfunctional stuff, and we then continue to see with the other characters, and especially right. BoJack and whatnot. And it's great. It's great. Like, mm. uh, <laughs> yeah, God. that just the, like if the episode had ended there, I would have been like, "Yep, all right, I'm, I'm, that's I, fine. I'm satisfied." Yeah, but this you know? is the thing about you know television like this. They couldn't. They put in like a joke every thirty to forty seconds, you know, and it just, it just goes. And yeah. the thing is, because BoJack as a show is so meaty in terms of the themes that they're exploring, mm -hmm. you don't feel like you're getting like rip roared pacing wise through everything. Oh, yeah. You get to actually sit and chew on it all. Yep. And so I love, 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 love the fact that amidst all of the stuff with the movie, mm -hmm. they also did the tie back to the why'd you have to bring up a boat? Mm -hmm. I had no there there was no part in my mind that was thinking that's where it was gonna go yeah you know i was just thinking that it was gonna be about the show right I and thought, that yeah I that it's it gonna be gonna the be, come on uh, the show and also the know. idea of like you know oh you just can't you can't continue you can't move forward right you are basically uh -huh. limp lying there like your little dick you know a, just, a dead horse you know yeah, we gotta more more man than horse, dead in horse. This yeah, case yeah. here you know but no, then it goes to that, which is like, oh, thank goodness, fuck. because yeah, fuck, it is but a also trigger for him. But it, it it totally would be, and that's yeah. and that's something that I really appreciate because that goes that, uh, that adds additional layers of yeah. understanding that the show is is did in that episode and will continue yes. to handle that subject matter in a serious way. Right. Right. Because it fucked him up. It fucked because him up. Not, of course because it would. Not because he came so close to doing it. But because he was going to do it. Right. Like, like, and I love the the talk that we got to get from him with that because, of course, it'd be something that he would avoid so we wouldn't get it unless it was actively mm -hmm. addressed, right. right? Yeah. And the idea that he understands himself enough to be mm -hmm. like, even though I want to think that I wouldn't. Right. I know... I would. And that mm -hmm. that also totally lines up with how that episode went down of mm -hmm. him being like, no, go to bed, you know, all that stuff. But he leaves the door open. Yeah. Right. You know, like, like, yeah. It, uh, yeah. Yeah. So and this is uh, this is Bojack. Mm -hmm. You and, have to meet the real him. Yep. And now there is an actual thread for it to come back to haunt him. Yep. Whereas in realistically, yes, in multiple ways. Yeah. Because if he hadn't said anything here. Yep. Realistically. I think it would have just disappeared. Nobody is, would have ever brought it up. Yeah, there is Nobody. no way Charlotte would have wanted her no daughter to way. go through the the shit from having that actually be mentioned now that although, the problem was dealt with. Although this is the thing that I was, I think I mentioned a little bit mm -hmm. way back then, was that there would have been, I would say, a realistic instance where, you know, five, ten years later, mm -hmm. when her daughter is grown up, she realizes what was going on. Sure. And she'd be like, no, 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 no. Makes the decision Bojack. herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Shares the story. Yeah. No, that is that is a great point. But yeah. yeah, now that we have it here, it's like, okay, there is a there is a very real conflict mm -hmm. thread for that. And even and, if and, it's and, closed oh. with the journalist being killed no, or something. No, 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 but shit, see, that's the thing. Like, that's the thing. It's not closed because from a plot standpoint, it's, it's closed... Um, for for now, but this is another skeleton. Is uh -huh. whatever happened to the journalist? Exactly. You don't need to know, Bojack. The strings on you right mm -hmm. now, the Oscar strings, are bigger than just you wanting to yep. have a little purpose in life. Oh yeah. No no no. We're setting you up to win an Oscar. You think we'd let? Uh huh. Some. Yep. Random manager. Oh yeah. 
And take that away from you? And with the whole no, uh, no. Papa Papalopoulos or whatever, you know, the, the hippo guy, that I think is a great way to also set the idea of this up because you get the the framing of that in the traditional sense that you would expect. But now it's the, no, 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 Bojack, you are going to become that kind of whether you like it or not. Whether you're whether you're that kind of what? Like like the uh the powerful person in in you know show business and whatnot where you okay. know the people that try and speak up against them get silenced. Oh, right? I, I was you know? bringing up the point that those kinds of people are what's puppeteering him. Yes. Bojack isn't anywhere close to becoming those people yet. Mm. It's the idea that his life is so meaningless to them sure. that they've got him basically in yeah. this way here. So even if this <coughs> manatee journalist was going to spill the story. She was recording him without his consent. Mm -hmm. She was going to take everything at the very least from their oh, yeah. sexual journeys and yes, she absolutely sh leak it to some tabloids or something. As, as soon as you know the as soon the, as the, the person is gone, it's the okay, cool. Mama no. Bear's gone. It's yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Wow, uh -huh. wow, the most right. obvious like fake seduction kind of stuff. Yep, and yeah. 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 So I I I have no no um uh, no positive things to say about her from the journalistic integrity standpoint. Oh, absolutely. But like but it's, it's, like Bojack was saying it's, earlier, it's still karmic. a person, still oh, a person. Sure. Yeah. You know, you 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 you. you yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Right. <laughs> you potentially killed someone or shipped them off to you know who knows where or something. Yep. And even if it's like. There's a part or of me paid that them off or something. I yeah, th know. there's a part of me that almost wants it to be something where it's the she's not killed or anything. No, no. But Bojack doesn't find out what it is that they did to make her not say anything, and mm -hmm. at some point he runs bumps across into her, her again, bumps into her again, and he's terrified, and he's like, "You're," and she just she just will not talk about it. Yeah, yeah. right. Like like it's the oh fuck, yeah, you know, yeah. like that. It's more of the it was the threat was enough to you yeah. know to to silence her or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. yeah, that that would be pretty amazing. Yep. Um, yeah, Todd and his escapades continue. I I love that they basically relegated Todd for this one to being the yes, you get lost in New yeah. York. He's a, we he, had a bunch of topical little little you know jokes at his expense. Those were mm -hmm. fun, and and we don't need to spend time on it because mm -hmm. it's a funny joke in and of itself. Of like, oh, Bojack was you know mixing up some cocktail for himself. He puts it in the milk carton, forgets that he put it in the milk carton, and then Todd, you know accidentally puts it in his cereal and, you know, gets knocked the fuck out, ends up in his luggage, and then he's just going around a, a hotel. Yeah. yeah. And and he doesn't know where he is. And then there's the one random bird who's going to off themselves. And then they're like, I forgot I have wings. I can fly. Damn it. One of the things that I actually really liked about this episode, and I think, I think this one will only show up more, mm -hmm. obviously, if you look at this episode and its script only, because it's so visually, you know, fun to look at all the things going on in the yeah. background and what's going on with the characters and the yep. visual storytelling going on that you might miss it. But they used a lot of, I guess, verbal motifs for, like, specific things. Hmm. There was the whole point of the boat being mentioned in, like, multiple different contexts to almost, like, create this feeling that we're being, like, drawn towards the focus of the boat. Like, the fact oh. that Todd ended up on the boat being the queen captain of the ship the fact that princess carolyn um uh wait, wait what, what was it princess carolyn also had a mentioning of the uh of the of the boat no no no, no it, it was, was the penguin guy yeah it was the penguin guy like, about i'm no longer the uh lieutenant on a i'm a captain of i'm a captain of burning ship yeah. right 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 and then uh ended up with bojack bringing up mm -hmm. the ship as well and there, there might have been something else in that but but basically it was fun to have this moment with the boat be built up mm -hmm. in our minds yeah with tangential stuff before we actually had it yep. it feels almost like i'm on a drug trip with bojack and it was like sure oh my mind was like why do i keep hearing about a boat and then it's like why'd you have to say the boat and it's like yeah yeah the, fuck, that, right that everyone reveal? but bojack was talking about a boat mm-hmm until just like, now. Holy shit. shit. Like, as if Bojack... No, of course. Bojack, this is his own mess, right? But, yeah. like, with the amount of, of shit regarding, like, like uh, just his own self-talk, you know? Oh, yeah. Right? Like, that he has to deal with. Now it's the... 
in a lot of ways, I'm glad he has this because it's something that's finally like uh, has a reason for being there. You know, what, like what well, mm, no, that could be that could be dismissive of his other struggles and things like that. But it's the this is something that that he truly did that was not done to him. You know, like okay. like a lot of the times when he has to deal with stuff with like his mother and things like that, mm -hmm. it's the it's the yeah, fuck, man. Like, like that, that, that sucks. You I hope suffered. you can. Yeah, you suffered, right? Okay. Now it's the point where it's the. Now, you've you've done this, but he's done a bunch of other. He, yeah, he has done a bunch though. of other uh, of other shit. But I guess I guess this is a this is a doozy on a on a scale that he hasn't had to deal with before. Yeah, right? yeah. I I think that that's 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 definitely you know one of those one of those kinds of things. But I I, I think that I think that the the. Maybe I'm maybe I'm misinterpreting things here, but like mm -hmm. the the thing that this like is kind of triggering for him is that I think it's the reviling himself in the past mm -hmm. that that can't be me. I can't have been the one that, that did this, but I'm also the one that did horsing around. So is it that he's now going to disassociate within himself and go, oh, past me? No, no, no. I. I Burn um, that. Keep moving forward. Sure, the, sure. You know, abandon ship. Don't, don't. Yeah, no. I like, think that I think that makes sense, and that does make sense as a as a uh, opening for the season conflict. Because that's like, what the this, episode ended with. Right, too. right, exactly. So that's what he has. That's what the 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 stakes are for the rest of the season. Is Bojack is completely just being like, nope, 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 yeah, nope, he's nope, gonna nope. Disassociate. I'm gonna I'm gonna completely look away from it. Oh shit! Because, he's gonna because, have a mental breakdown then. I mean, well, <laughs> that's Bojack. No, no, show, no but right? I mean, like a like a mental breakdown, like a, like an actual like can't function. I would not be surprised. Breakdown. And I, from a from a uh, show standpoint, I'm actually happy about that idea. Yeah. Because given that he's been making a lot of progress with the demons that he knows and has had to face, yeah. it would make sense that he would really be making progress, and he has been. Yes. And so if you want the show to keep going for six more seasons, we got to have there be some way in which... And it's as a result of his actions. So it's not some, yeah. you know, like environmental stuff, whatever, the right? Hand like of God, the hand above. of God, you know, being like, you must suffer. This has to be drug out for eight seasons. It's no. While he's making progress, he is also digging himself deeper. He's and also, yeah, as a result of that, it. now it's the, he has something that is, that he doesn't have a grid for. He mm -hmm. doesn't know how to deal with this. And so, right, you know, two steps forward and two steps back at the same time. But like, they don't cancel each other out, you know? Like, Aren't you tired of running around in circles? I'm telling you, this show, when you start, like, feeling out the the messages mm -hmm. that are almost being told to us, the viewer, but Bojack is the main character, so it's like this is a form of his psyche at the edges of the fringes sure. of the show. I feel like this show is one that you never want to watch while, like... In a bad know, place. Fire and evil oh, sure. or anything like that, because I feel like you'll tap into the actual drug trip that's right at the edges of... Bojack's like psyche here. You and saying all that just makes me think of the line in True Detective of "You can smell the psychosphere." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I'm having a little bit of one of those moments. Yeah, is that I I feel that mm -hmm. in the in the background stuff. Yes, this show basically has fun with the viewer, and I guess Bojack's subconscious to be like, "Hey." Would you like to play around and dance in a little bit of Bojack subconscious in this technicolor, mm -hmm. just static dream world around him as he just stumbles through life? I, I, I swear I'm completely straight right now. But like this is yeah. this is like, yeah, this is something where this episode brought me into the world of Bojack in a way that maybe you feel I'm, like you're psychically tuning into yeah, the creator, like, and I'm you're like, like this, oh I'm like, shit, fuck, we, yeah, yeah we set, we are setting him up for a painful season here, yeah. Yeah. Like there are so many like little things I feel like that were hinted at, and the mental breakdown is kind of my rationale as to what would end with uh, like enough disassociation. But the idea of like keep moving forward, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're tired of running around in and, circles. And the way that I truly these... believed his monologue at the end in front of yeah. all the people, right? Yeah, like like it wasn't something where it felt like forced and like okay, this is what I'm gonna say, but I don't want to say. He turned it. on the actor. He turned on the actor, and he was good. And he was good, like like almost yeah. method, you might yeah. think, you uh -huh. know, right? And so that's that's fascinating. Like that's gonna, yeah. Be... Right. yeah. How long can an actor act that they are 
mm -hmm. who they are yep. when they're not willing to be who they are. Do you know what this made me think of? Like this, this, like that, that whole question and like this episode struggle yeah, with the Oscar snap, and everything. Yeah. This made me think of Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> This is the story behind all those times, like the seven times or whatever that he tried for an Oscar and didn't get it, right? All this shit. Where it's the, you know. See, that's how you know. That's how you know the Oscars are rigged and uh -huh. are planned. You know, long before then, is because DiCaprio deserved at least one or two of those. Uh huh. But it's the no. The story is better. Right. If DiCaprio doesn't get it until it's like. Until it gets killed is, by a bear. Okay. Well, yeah. Like, like, yeah, it's not like necessarily the best of the movies. It's that this is such an absurd length as they keep trying to yeah. suck up to us. All right. They're just like, Wait, Wolf of Wall Street wasn't enough? Please, oh, please, you know, yeah. we'll, we'll do anything. Yeah, please yeah. give us the Oscar. Yeah, 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 you want it, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Suck it's harder, the, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. right, 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 yeah. And mm -hmm. then uh, eventually they, you know make the narrative this end, and everyone's like, wow, Leo, yeah. Uh -huh. And I'm sure he's like, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, no, I, I remember, like, the. I, I think this was back in, like, the Tumblr days when people were like, check out this gift of Leonardo DiCaprio at the Oscars. He's there with his mom. <laughs> and he didn't win. <laughs> and, and just him, like, the camera showing him clapping is like the actual winner, like, went up, and it's just, just like the... Yeah. <laughs> But yeah. yeah, yeah, celebrities, they have such big problems. We don't get any we don't recognition. Get any recognition. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, no. oh, I love the like pouty baby, like throw the suitcase on the bed. Like, God, he wasn't so even good. strong enough to really throw it, so he kind of more like, yeah, I mean, it had a it. Todd in it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it had a Todd in it, yeah. The fact that he moved it at all is yeah. impressive. Or actually kind of sad. Is Todd getting emaciated? Is Todd getting the nutrition he needs? Wait. You're only asking that now. <laughs> like, I don't think Todd's ever been, like, fed well. Yeah. Uh, like, b before moving in with Bojack or after? <laughs> like That's true. That's like, true. All right. But, yeah, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about animated shows in general. And also be sure to check out my Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play on Twitch. And if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.